Today I'm showing a Jules Thief, modified Jules Thief again with this, um, or you can call it high frequency inverter, oscillator, whatever. Anyway, it is basically the same as I used before, as you can see one of my previous video about uh, these kind of things. This is uh, off the shelf a uh, toroid. Let me put the lights out. It's off the shelf toroid. Tip 355. Uh, pot. Uh, capacitor. Capacitor here is all the output. One watt light bulb. The capacitor here is on the other output that goes back into the system. If I don't have it in place. Um, I cannot do that. I can do it, but you will see what I mean. Gonna drive it on oh, it's a uh, 12 point something. Yeah, let me put the multimeter on it. Totally forgot about that. Okay, the voltage is 12.84 and the milliamp draw is 60 milliamps. I can play with the, uh, the pot and bring it down to 20 milliamps. But uh, in this case I like to drive it around 60 milliamps. Now I'm going to bypass the capacitor. So uh, basically it's not there for now. This is the output that's going back to the system. Without the capacitor I'm going to put uh, what is going to this rectifier back to the system the lights will go out and the milliamp draw way will go way above 100 milliamp I think you guys can see that in one shot lights is out milliamp way above 100 you see that you can also see the voltage decreasing now I'm gonna take away this part, this clip lead here. So now the capacitor is in the system. Uh, this toroid has uh, two input 30 volt each. That's one I'm using over here. And two outputs uh, 110 volt each. One of those outputs go to this light, to that capacitor. And the other one goes to uh, this capacitor to the rectifier and then I'm going to put it here look that now I'm using the capacitor when I put it over here this will drop and that will also drop but it doesn't go out see it goes from 60 milliamps to almost 30 almost a half but the lights it's almost a half also So basically what I'm doing is take a little bit of the power here and distribute it a little bit here and a little bit back to the system. But what I want to say is that you have to play with capacitor in this kind of system. It's very handy because without it I couldn't do that. But with the capacitor, hope you guys can see that in one shot, look at the amp meter and the light, light is dimmer and the uh, milliamps almost a half 60 milliamps bright light say 30 milliamps and uh, less brighter light so that's about it just play with it I just want to know if off the shell toroid works and it works pretty easy no problem at all okay that's about it it's just a small video on this um, I will be driving this one and the other one I posted before uh, next time with the 555 timer so I can uh, um, tune the frequency to whatever I want and also the uh, duty cycle with the port we'll see what it gets I don't expect much uh, nothing special from it but it's nice to place with it anyway so I can go to uh, completely below As you can see now it's using 10 milliamps and light is uh, yeah as good as that nothing there if I disconnect it over here the input 
the output going back to the input. It goes to 20 milliamps, so it's the half. And the light is better now. So if you want to do this, if you want to use a little bit of the energy that's going into the toroid right back to the system, you have to have a capacitor V. These capacitors are rated 0.1 UF. So I think that is uh, 100 nanofarad. And these are 1.6 kilovolt. I think they're porcelain, something like that. Old type. Very nice capacitors. So I'm going to show you one more time. Gonna bypass the capacitor now. I'm bypassing it. Putting it back here. Milliamps go a little bit higher. Not much now because it's lower, but the lights go completely out. No lights at all. If I go now to 60 milliamps, you can see the effect more uh, better. 60 milliamps input. Good lights. No capacitor. It is being bypassed by this wire. You see, going way above 100 million, maybe 150, I don't know, but the light is completely gone, nothing there. Okay, that's about it. And now I can tune it a little bit. With uh, the output, a little bit output going back to the system, it doesn't go any higher than, uh, let's say, 42 million. Okay, smooth video on it. Uh, nothing special, just playing it around. Thought I'd make a video of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.